While it's possible to manually rearrange items in columns in Divi, there are a few clever tricks that you can significantly speed up and streamline the process. I have a Divi section here with three columns, each named logos, icons, and posts. I want to change the column layout. First, enable Visual Builder at the top. To get to columns, select any item on the page. Columns layout is under the green row settings. When I select the layout icon, I can see different Divi column layout options. Right now, I have a three even column setting. If I select the one column layout on the left, column two and three are stacked below column one. Now, if I want to go back to the three column layout, you will notice that I have this section divided into three parts, but all my items didn't go back to how they were before. To go back to that structure, use the command plus Z on Mac or control plus Z on PC to undo your changes. Let's say I want to switch the icons in column two with posts in column three. You can use the slow manual method by clicking and dragging each module across the columns. Avoid using this method. While suitable for a small number of modules, it proves inefficient for large sets and can be challenging to precisely drop the modules in the correct position. The much quicker and efficient method is to click on the row settings gear icon to see the column structure. When dealing with columns of even sizes, simply click and drag to rearrange them as you like. It is a little trickier though when you have an uneven column layout. Let's say I have a layout of column one twice the size of column two and three. If I want to keep this column structure, but rearrange the columns, I will go again to the row settings. Let's say I want to have posts on the left. So when I move the column to the left, notice that my column structure also changed. So to fix that, first, finish your column arrangements to what you want it to be. I will move icons to the second column position. Now I will click on the two arrows to the right of column structure. When I do that, I get a different view of possible column layouts. I'm going to select the three column structure with the first column being the largest. Something seems off as the first column appears disproportionately large. When I open the layout options, I can see that there is another three column layout with the first column larger, but much better suited to my needs. Now this looks perfect. I will save and exit the visual builder. Thanks so much for watching.